Yesterday we started out with just a general overview of the entire process. Um, we started at the waste treatment plant and then moved our way to the water treatment plant. And so we just got a good general overview of the process. And then today we start looking at, um, you know, parts of it in more detail. It was interesting when I heard that uh, Mr. Hickey said that a lot of the people who are going to be helping with this week were so nervous and excited about us coming. And I was so nervous and excited about us coming here. And I think it's so cool that that partnership has been made, especially with a business here in Clarksville that those employees are just as excited to have us as we are as excited to be here. We're going to be able to use some of the problems they've given us. They've given us formulas and workbooks of sample problems. We can directly apply it to the algebra curriculum and the STEM curriculum. It's tough for me sometimes to, to truly answer that question of when am I ever going to use this stuff in the real world. So I'm getting a real hands-on experience, you know, looking at that and seeing what they really use. Dimensional analysis will now come alive to the kids. It won't just be that, that thing we made them do. It will be real application that has a real use. It'll help me come up with some challenges. You know, in the STEM program, we, we do challenges with the students. And I think we're going to be able to come up with some, some challenges that, that have real relevance to them. In Physics World Concepts, we talk about uh, pressure, flow rate. Um, I use an analogy of water pressure with when I talk about electricity with my kids. And they're always, um, they take more ownership into it when they can apply it to their real life when they can go home and they can explain it to their parents or see something in their house where they're actually learning something in the, something in the classroom that they can apply to something at home or in their lives. So uh, we've had several examples in just a day and the hour or two that we've been here today that I'll be able to take back to the classroom. 